Obviously, carrying the top weight is definitely a negative factor for him, for any horse. Apart from that, the last time that he ran in 1,200 meters, the pace of the race, considering a youngster won that race and it was a very sharp time for him. I don't think he was capable of keeping pace with that sort of speed. So for which I've given him an additional 200 meters this time. I do hope that he'll run better. Well, uh, I sent her to uh, Kunigal for a spell and she injured herself there. So I've not been able to put in much work into her. Uh, I am uh, just running her out of one piece of work. But she's a nice filly and uh, I'm just hoping she runs well. Yeah, Peridot last time had a, a she, she bled a little bit, so it compromised her performance. But she has had enough rest and she's training well. She, she's a very light frame filly, she had gone down a lot. But right now she's on the up, she's improved, she's looking much better. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with her relatively. I think she'll run a good race. She, she has a good chance to be up there and uh, win. 1400 meters. We start off with number one Super Gladiator, who ran fourth. Galacticus was the winner of this race, starting to inch his way, almost third at this point of time at the last 100 meters, and uh, lost out that uh, third spot uh, in the dying moments of the race, and finished on fourth on this occasion, where Galacticus was the winner, and Super Gladiator was a fancy runner, gulped down a lot of money on that occasion, rated at 42s for Blinkers Tungster Basket Bet. Two will be Capriati, who ran second. Accumulator was the winner of this race, and Capriati was the one which is warming in between runs and they started to catch up with the front runner, inched his way and ran a mighty race to finish on second BN Accumulate on this occasion in uh, race number 170 of the last winter. Neck was the verdict between the two runners, did run a mighty race when Tungster Cross was band rated at 40. Three will be Peridot who has been produced the wide outside perfect choice was the winner of this race and Peridot was the one was uh, catching up on every stride and finished on ending up uh, Third on this occasion being the perfect choice in uh, race number 30 of this current summer. Was a winner in uh, last winter, rated at 30 cents from Blinkers and Hood, this number three, Peridot. Four will be Mustirian. Mustirian ran seventh. Classic Charm was the winner and Mustirian was the one which was uh, waiting to uh, pounce on the front runner and uh, did end up by finishing on seventh on this outing is Mustirian, where Classic Charm was the winner, won by a... Uh, margin of two lengths and Mustidon on this occasion ran ending up just beating uh, one home on this occasion Dean's getting out of gold a six when Tungster Cross was band rated at 36. Five will be Osiris. Osiris was the one who ran eight. Capri Girl was the winner and Osiris was the one who was gracing the wrong end of the field last in fact and did end up by finishing on uh, one beating one home uh, after that seventh being Galacticus and fifth being Archway ran eighth out of nine runners. Capri Girl was the winner spotting uh, Blinkers Tungster Cross was band rated at 34 is Osiris. Number eight will be solid par. Well, solid par is the next runner we have a look at who ran uh, twice third on the first two occasions behind defining par and champions way. And in this occasion, fifth out of 12 runners over that seven for long trip is a solid par running over very distances and uh, ran fifth behind uh, in this occasion in race number 73 over that seven for long trip is uh, Number eight, solid part. Twelve eye tornado just got the last possible stride. Knows those the warnings from Blinkers Tongues of Cross Nose Band Basket bit rated at twenty seven. And uh, we also have a look at the next uh, runner coming up for scrutiny will be Lady Godiva, who ran fifth on this occasion and uh, came and finished on fifth. The very tenderly handled, in fact, is Lady Godiva, rated at twenty, putting blinkers and tongue strap. Phoebe, uh, Phoebe is a good type of youngster, little temperament. Last time it got withdrawn in the gate. I've given a gate practice. She's everything well with her. Only thing we should see how she behaves in the gate. If she behaves well, she will be there. Who's coming from uh, Hyderabad is uh, rival and ended up finishing on 10th on that occasion where Dedicate was the winner of this race and rival in the silks of uh, royal blue white check stripe sleeves uh, finished on ending up 10th on that occasion. I mean, won a race last uh, season in Hyderabad uh, and in this run ran 10th on this occasion. Just beat two home. Dedicate was the winner rated at 40s rival. Well, three will be Embosom. Embosom was the one who ran sixth on the sorting. Sea Blush was the winner, and Embosom ran a forward race and did end up by finishing on sixth ultimately. Is Embosom 
came under pressure in the last 100 meters to fall back and finish on 6 out of 10 runners, having run 3rd behind Golden Time. And on this occasion, ended up 6 out of 10 runners. C Blush was the winner, rated at 31 from Blinkers Cross Nose Band. And 4 will be Vayu. Vayu was the one who ran 6 long leads with the winner. And Vayu was the one who was in that mid pack and ended up finishing on 6 out of 8 runners. Uh, long leads with the winner. No form in his pre sorting as well, having run 8th behind the Golden Peaks. And in this occasion, 6 out of 8 runners rated at 29 from Blinkers Tungster Cross Nose Band. Longley is emerging victorious to win by four and a half lengths in uh, race number 55. Five will be Faz. Faz was the one who ran seventh. The truth was the winner of this race. And uh, Faz was the one that of old debut out of uh, Pret a Port is uh, number five. Was had uh, three outings and all his three runs disappointing. Haven't shown any semblance of form. Finished on seventh out of seven runners in Truth's win in Hyderabad is number five from Tungstrap and Rubber Debit rated at 28. Five, uh, six will be Jersey Legend. Jersey Legend comes in next was the eventual winner in this race is Jersey Legend. Uh, a supporter of Jersey Girl, uh, having finished fifth behind uh, Dawn Rising, and in this occasion came and emerged victorious to beat uh, Debonair by a margin of one and a half length. Is Jersey Legend uh, sporting blinkers and tongue strap, rated at 28. Seven will be I Want It All. I Want It All ran ninth. Uh, Jamari was the winner on this occasion, and I Want It All was the one having run twice fifth behind a Brave uh, 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 behind a Semino in Uti and 5th BN Multi Crow and in this occasion 9th out of 12 runners Jamari was the winner in race number 42 in uh, this current summer and I want it all is at Akuga Mountain out of Ajavi this is one tongue stop rated at 27 is number 7 and uh, ni 9 will be Desert Dragon with 8 uh, withdrawn in his uh, previous uh, occasion in race number 87 was fractures uh, inside the gates and uh, was uh, withdrawn and uh, Desert Dragon is the one we are looking at uh, well, this horse uh, finished on 7th on the sorting where Fort Nelson was the one which was uh, waiting to take over the running and took over the running at the uh, final 100 meters to win by a margin of 2.5 lengths. And uh, this horse, Desert Dragon, ended up finishing on 7th on that occasion, having run 7th behind the Spirit of the Rose in a previous run in race number 31. So, Tongue Stop rated at 26 is uh, Desert Dragon. And uh, 10 will be War Trail. War Trail ran 9th. Uh, a supporter of Aprilia is a war trail who ran 8th being Benignity on this occasion. 9th out of 10 runners, 9th right throughout in fact is a war trail. And uh, oh, the sun for long trip uh, ended up in that back bunch. Uh, Impiana was the winner, rated at 25. So Blinkers Tongue Strap is number 10 war trail. 11 will be uh, Southern Aristocrat. Southern Aristocrat finished on ending up 6th on this occasion having run 8th behind in race number 30 and in this occasion finished 6th out of 8 runners just beat 2 home. Belvedere was the winner in race number 58 winning by a margin of 3 quarters of length whereas Southern Aristocrat finished on 6th out of 8 runners rated at 20 is number 11 Southern Aristocrat. Star Concept has run a good race last time he has finished 3rd and it was a mild race and he was leading up to the straight. So now this time we have cut down the distance by 200 meters. Uh, he's running seven. That is, I think, will be suitable for him in this company. Uh, hopefully, by God's grace, he should win. Alice Blue is fine. She's still a little bit immature. She needs to improve. She's running in the seven. I've you know, given her a little bit of distance because she was uh, way off the pace at that time. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm just uh, watching it unfold. I'm not having any uh, premeditated idea about her. I would like to see her run a good race. Kalania is not really showing uh, much of ability at the moment. She may be a slightly late maturing filly, so let's see just how she runs. Eden Oss is three years old only. We have a look at uh, number one, Cristaldo. Cristaldo was the one who was just in that mid pack and ended up finishing on eighth out of 12 runners. Fifth for most for the journey and dropped back rapidly to end up finishing on eighth out of 12 runners. Enabling was the winner. Win legend of Abno, but beautifully bred horse. Sporting tongue strap and cross nose band is number one, Cristaldo. Two will be Irish Coffee. Irish Coffee ran third. Tehani was the winner of this race, and Irish Coffee was the one who was in that mid pack. Uh, just given a tap or so, could come and finish on only third on this occasion. But Tehani was the one who uh, extended the margin and won by uh, almost about uh, three quarters of a length. And in this occasion, uh, Irish Coffee finished on uh, third on this outing.
rated uh, is for in tongue stuff smugglers code of anahe damn to irish coffee well uh, four will be star concepts star concept was the one who ran third on the sorting in the silks of uh, silver gray with cerise royal blue ended up finishing on third on the sorting is star concept having run third be an auspicious queen on the previous occasion snow piercer was the winner rated at uh, 30 is for tongue star five will be super stride super stride ran seventh magnus was the winner and super stride was the one who was uh, waiting to take the run uh, towards the rail side fell back gradually and then ended up finishing on seventh out of eight runners is a super stride speaking of which are a set of side with magnus coming and emerging victorious to win uh, by a margin of one and a half length super stride ran seventh rated at 35 so one tongue stop is number five super stride and uh, six will be vinam row vinam row was the one who ran 10th jamari was the winner and uh, last in fact was vinam row finished on ultimately 10th out of 12 donors uh, having run seventh be in viraccio and uh, fifth in oti in this run ran 10th out of 12 donors be in jamari rated at 26 for tongue star planet air at just jolly is number 6 vinam row next three runners will be number 7 alice blue number 8 crimson star and number 10 tortilla chip these are the three runners we have look at but let's start off with the alice blue alice blue was the one who ran inning up fifth out of nine runners as alice blue in the silks of uh, red and red and uh, blue st uh, stripes sleeves is uh, 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 alice blue in race number 67 finished on fifth out of nine runners as alice blue rated at uh, is sporting tongue star cross nose band and hood uh, is uh, alice blue whereas the other runner in the race is uh, number 8 crimson star both the occasions of the frame having run 8 win miss maya and 9th win sea eagle sporting tongue star and tortilla chip ran 6th out of 9 runners in uh, race number 67 nine <coughs> will be kalania kalania ran eighth uh, long lees of the winner of the stays in kalani is at a western ascot out of uh, zafran yet another beautifully bred horse is uh, kalania but uh, ran fifth in the first occasion in uh, last winter with bn galacticus subsequently ran this summer in race number 55 and put in a listless performance having run eighth out of eight runners last in uh, long lees is win is number 9 kalania sporting tongue stop and hood is number 9 kalania horse belongs in the higher class uh, he's come back down to 6 furlongs the only two 6 furlongs races he's had in his life is one by over eight lengths each so i think they all have to beat him yeah after the delhi derby he came down to bangalore he won a race where he uh, beat some good horses and uh, his form is very good he's beaten siege courageous in the delhi derby which uh, subsequently come out and won three races and after that he's uh, run he's had one start this uh, summer where he ran seventh he was a little bit heavy in that run he's coming down in distance of course he's got to take on ashwa uh, itosha and uh, emperor rodrick who are more suitable to a six and i think my horse has got abundant class and hopefully i should win yeah um good morning everyone uh, emperor rodrick uh, is a very talented horse according to me but he's he just seems to um hurt himself at times and nothing serious but he um kind of gets himself into trouble and has to be eased off at times and then brought back um he's run a decent 7 for long the other day i uh, do think that he's uh, between 6 and 7 and uh, i brought him back to a 6 as this is the race for him and i think he'll run a good race itosha Itosha was the eventual winner in this race and uh, Itosha was uh, waiting to launch an assault at the final 150 meters took over the running emerged victorious to win by 7 and 3 quarters of a length and rest were at futile chase with Michigan Melody coming and occupying the second spot and uh, Itosha won very well over the will be Ashwa Yudhvir who ran 7 Savi Chick was the winner of this race number 3 Emperor Roderick number 4 Miss Little Angel and number six Amreli. These are the four runners we have a look at. But let's start off with the first run. Ashwa Yudhvir, winner in his last outing in last winter, beating Last Wish and finished seventh behind Savi Chick, rated at seventy-five. Whereas Emperor Roderick, this is the horse which won his last outing in Mumbai and finished on third behind Savi Chick, rated at seventy-five. One tongue stop is uh, Emperor Roderick, almost fourth at the stage and came and ended up finishing on third. Number four in the card is Miss Little Angel, uh, ran a poor race on both occasions. Is uh, Miss Little Angel's one tongue stop. 
crossings when basket bet rated at 70 and the one uh, which you are looking at the last one is Amarelli starting to catch up but eventually and ran ending up fifth having run third B and Artemis Ignisia and fifth B and Savage Chick is uh, Amarelli rated at 66 one blinkers tongue star put crossings band is number six Amarelli and five will be K star K star ran ninth Artemis Ignisia was the winner well, there you have it. Uh, K Star was the one uh, who uh, led the field and then fell back gradually to end up finishing on ninth out of 11 runners. Was uh, K Star. This is race number 19 you're looking at, having finished sixth main fast train and ninth main artist. We Artemis Ignatia on Tungstra Crossnose Band rated at 68. 7 will be Del Mar. Del Mar was the one who ran 7th. Galactical was the winner of this race and Del Mar was the one just been a bit of a uh, uh, crack or so with a pretty high action out there. Ran ending up 7th. Uh, finished 11th being Artemis Ignatia. 7th being Galacticus. On Tungstra Crossnose Band hanging bit rated at 66 is Del Mar. 8 will be Kensington Court. Kensington Court ran 12th. Dedicate was the winner of this race and uh, Kensington Court was uh, travelling the centre of the track and finished on last in fact where Dedicate was the eventual winner in this race having finished 11th being Itosha on the previous occasion. Supporting Tongue Stop and Crossnose Band rated as 60 is number 8 Kensington Court. Double scotch. Last run was very disappointing. It was a 7. Maybe it was a little sharp. He had a bit of a stumble after jumping out. Maybe because of that he didn't gallop. Uh, we've given him some time. We've tried the blinkers. He seems to be better in blinkers. It's difficult to beat Ebotse and Grace. Ebotse, according to me, is probably one of my best horses. He needed the start. Uh, I'm quite excited to watch him run. And I think I should win the race. Irish Rockstar has run a very suggestive race last time. She got a little jostled uh, in the last 300 meters. She's come on to run third behind Big Red. Uh, the horse in that race is Ibotse. The connections are quite strong on the horse and they think very highly of him. I think I'll have to beat him. Double Scotch ran 7th. Impiana was the winner of this race. Ran in uh, open class and finished on 7th out of 10 runners where uh, Impiana was the one who won by a comfortable margin of 4 and 3 quarter lengths having finished 3rd being Nezia on the previous occasion. But this run certainly, uh, well, uh, ran a poor race in fact on this occasion having finished 7th out of 10 runners uh, over that San Falong trip rated at uh, 28th from Blinkers Tongue Stop is number 1 Double Scotch. Win legend at twice over. 2 will be Ebotse. Ebotse ran fifth. Uh, Tehani was the winner of this race. Uh, well, uh, tre treasure chest also coming up for scrutiny right on the haunches and finished on ending up eighth on this uh, outing where uh, fell back gradually. In fact, is a uh, treasure chest to finish on ending up uh, last in uh, race number 45. Having finished fifth being Viraccio on the previous occasions when tongue stop rated at 24. And number two, Ebotse was the one who ran ending up fifth on this occasion is Ebotse. And... Uh, a close fifth, in fact, uh, having run uh, in race number 45, where the winner there was Tehani's one tongue stop and cross nose band. Three will be Lone Ranger, and number seven in the card, that's Wolf Creek, and number nine, Grace. These are the three runners we have a look at. Lone Ranger was the one who was up there, uh, ran a forward race, and finished on ultimately running sixth on this outing is Lone Ranger. Win legend at a Sir Latate is uh, Lone Ranger. This is race number 62 you're looking at, where uh, Lone Ranger ran ending up. Uh, Sixth on the sorting, Snowpiercer was the one who emerged victorious to win by a comfortable margin. Whereas uh, number seven in the card, that's Wolf Creek, uh, finished seventh out of ten runners. So Snowpiercer, the winner, race number 62, the one which is in question, when Tungsta Cross was banned. And number nine in the card, Grace was the one, having run two good races in Calcutta, ran ending up fifth out of ten runners, rated at 31. So Blinkers Tongue Stop is number nine, Grace. Farazon comes in next and number six in the card. Valves Bay are the two runners. Farazon was the one who has been produced on the outside and uh, ended up uh, finishing on seventh out of eight runners in the silks of light green with white panel, light green sleeves is uh, uh, Farazon being produced in the center of the track and ran ending up seventh out of eight runners. The Godfather was the winners from Tungsta Crossnose Band. Number six in the card, Valves Bay. Both the occasions off the frame uh, having finished sixth being Veracho and eighth out of eight runners being the Godfather. That's the form and credential rate today. Sporting Blinkers Tungsta Basket Bit is number six, Valves Bay.
golden bell uh, comes in next golden bell was the one who ran 10th uh, fast pace was the winner of this race uh, pretty high action out of there and uh, ran ending up 10th uh, on the sorting in race number 12 of this current summer season finish was uh, not declared to start in chennai but in this occasion ran 10th out of 12 on his 10th right throughout uh, is the golden bella where fast pace came in one rate is for in tongue stop is number eight golden bella irish rock star who finished third big red was the winner and irish rock stars with a multi-dimensional the woman of war uh, having finished eighth being elpenor and in this occasion ran third out of seven runners big red was the winner of this race and irish rock star came and uh, finished on in the money third on this occasion rate is putting tongue stop is number 10 irish rock star yeah uh rowdy sort of went a little bit off during the the summer didn't take um April and May too well, March, April and May. Um, slowly coming back, I can see a change as it started raining and the weather's getting better. But I, th I think uh, he'll, he'll need this race as well. Wild Emperor last run was basically into two and a half weeks of training. He ran that race because he was having multiple setbacks in the off-season. Uh, he's well now and let's hope for the best. Silver Cannon, both the boys, Trevor and Akshay, felt that she might need blinkers. So we've tried the blinkers. They feel the blinkers has helped. Having said that, I think uh, it's a tight race, it's a tough race, so let's hope for the best. This is a race for handicap forces rated 40 to 65, distance run is 1400 meters. We have a look at number one, Lord Frankel. Well, Lord Frankel has had a mock race and uh, in this run, you know, finished on 10th out of uh, 10 runners. Last on this outing, after running a forward race, fell back gradually to run, ending up 10th. Santorino was the winner, winning by a comfortable margin rated at 63 is number one, Lord Frankel. Two will be Prince Sabir. Two will be Prince Abir who ran seventh. Hunting Den was the winner of this race. And uh, number four, Wild Emperor with number six, Silver Canyon are the three runners. But let's start off with Prince Sabir. Finished tenth on the first turn by an Artemis Ignatia. And oh, that mild trip finished seventh out of eight, uh, seventh out of nine runners been Hunting Den. Rated at 60s for tongue strap is Prince Sabir. Number four in the card, that's Wild Emperor, where ran ending up second on this outing after running a forward race. Got beat by uh, Hunting Den, who came and challenged up strongly to emerge victorious. Rated at 53s for Tungsta basket beta number six in the card, Silver Canyon. Both the occasions in the money, I'm finished second being measure of time and third on those occasions for Blinkers Tungsta rated at 46. Three will be Rowdy. Rowdy finished eighth. Uh, Kalamitsi was the winner of this race and uh, Rowdy was the one who was last, in fact, uh, in. Uh, Race number 84 and uh, previously ran third be an in new we believe is rowdy in race number 93 over that mile trip. But this run certainly, you know, ran a poor race, uh, hard to digest in fact, uh, having finished third on the previous occasion. And this run ran eighth out of uh, eight runners being Kalamitsi, rated at 54s one tongues of crossness band and basket. But five will be Scribbling Hopper who ran 11th. Word Smith was the winner and Scribbling Hopper was the one in the silks of... Uh, White with the blue Maltese cross, pink sleeves and cap is uh, scribbling up a decade out of spirit of excellence who's had two outings. Both the occasions ran off the frame having finished 10th PN Rapidus and 11th PN Wordsmith. But uh, in the fag end of uh, winter, winner beating Mystic Eye is scribbling up as for Tungster Crossness Band rated at 51. Wordsmith coming and uh, winning this race with time finishing on second and scribbling up a Ended up in that back punch. Last is uh, scribbling up. Uh. Well, we mounted the next runner. That's number seven, Southern Force. Southern Force was the one who ran, uh, ending up. Uh, Fourth on that occasion is uh, Southern Force, uh, having run fourth behind Mighty Zoe. And in this occasion, fourth again behind Archway is uh, Southern Force. Roderick O'Connor at a Miomi. When Tungster Crossness Band rated at 43 is Southern Force. We was run a good race last time. Uh, the horse that beat him has run again second in the higher class. So with the benefit of a run and being stripped fitter, I think he should go close. Uh, last time I rode her first time, last time she was running in a maiden race and she came out and won. And this time she's running in open, open class. And let's see, she's carrying 58 on her back. We are hoping for the best. 
Splendor on grass and number three, Brilliant Star. These are the two runners. Splendor on grass was the one who was nicely positioned on the inside railing and came in, ended up finishing on fourth on the sorting, having run sixth behind In the Light and fourth on the sorting behind Dedicate was uh, Splendor on grass. Got the run towards the rail, so slipped in and ended up finishing on fourth on the sorting, rated at uh, 42 spotting tongue stab. Whereas the other run in this race is Brilliant Star, where Brilliant Star finished on eighth out of 12 runners, fourth for most for the journey, dropped back and ended up fourth, eighth in fact. 8th B and fast pace on the previous occasion rated at 40 spotting tongue stop and basket bet. 2 will be Chisox. Chisok was the one uh, who finished on 5th Classic Charm as the winner of this race and Chisok was the one after that forward run fell back to finish on ending up 5th uh, out of 9 runners is uh, uh, number 2 Chisox and uh, this horse uh, certainly ran a Good race, in fact, uh, having run a forward race uh, behind a classic charm and fourth behind uh, Pavarotti on the previous occasions. Point Blinker Sunks across his band rated at 41. Number four will be Devo. Devo was the one is out of Fiero out of uh, Ford is number four, Devo, who ran third on that occasion, third out of nine runners. Fondness of you was the winner, was the winner in race number 164, seeking the stars was the winner. And Devo on this occasion ran third out of nine runners, rated at 40s for tongue stop. Five will be Vasista. Vasista was known as the one ran six. The pink jasmine was the winner. Well, uh, towards the rail side, uh, given a couple of reminders, but uh, the response was none. Having won his last outing in uh, Hyderabad, beating Claire. But on this occasion, ran six out of eight runners. The pink jasmine was the surprise package, rated at 40 spoon tongue strap. Cross nose band and side cheek pieces, number five, Vasista. And seven will be Miss Maya. This is certainly an impressive performance coming in from Miss Maya, having a uh, Having nailed down, uh, seeking the stars in the last possible stride with seeking the stars, still having that advantage. And Miss Maya was the one who challenged up strongly, came in from almost that mid pack to come and uh, join the issue and eventually win this race by a margin of a next for Blinkers rated at 36. And it will be Superhero. Superhero ran 10th on the sorting in the silks of grey with yellow sleeves, grey cap is Superhero. Tale of Champion out of Ice Stone, 9th being enabling. 10th be an impiana. That's the form and credentials of uh, number 8, a uh, superhero. This is race number 66 you're looking at. It's one tongue stop rated at 29 is number 8, superhero. Straight as an arrow, impiana. We're emerging victorious to win by 4 and 3 quarters of length. The gallery time is the next runner. The gallery time ran six to travel the widest of all and uh, veered mo even more wider to end up finishing on uh, sixth on that occasion. Just beat one home on this run where uh, the gallery time, having finished third being Devo, but uh, never reproduced that form in his uh, next outing, finished on sixth out of seven runners. Old Gate was the winners from Blinkers Crossroads Band, rated at 28. And the last runner for the day will be number 10, Double Vision, who ran fifth. Sunway Lagoon was the winner of this race, and uh, this was Double Vision, who had uh, three outings, having run seventh being Venus, third being Maroon. And in this run, ran fifth behind the Sunway Lagoon. That's the form and credential of double vision. Declaration out of Magnomical rated at 20 is number 11, double vision. So that's why in the preview of today's races, we'll join you tomorrow for the Maharaja's Gold Cup. Until then, thank you from all of us.